What's up guys, welcome back to another Destiny 2 news video. I'm going to be going over the This Week at Bungie post for August 16th of 2018. I'm sorry I haven't been super present on the channel. Definitely been busy trying to find a job uh, and stuff like that in my field and whatnot. I just graduated college, so I'm definitely trying to get into that stuff a little more, you know. Gotta, gotta pay those bills. But I will be going over everything inside the TOB and my thoughts. So the first thing they go over is Gambit, and essentially people had some questions about Gambit, Gambit and how it is going to work. Like, is it going to feature a ranking system and some other stuff like that? So essentially, the ranking system is going to be called Infamy. So basically, with Forsaken literally right around the corner, they're going to discuss the goals of the mode, right? So they want to fuse the best aspects of PVE and PvP into a brand new activity that you can only experience in Destiny 2. Make the mode accessible to players of all skill levels, but give it depth and variety that will keep even the most hardcore guardians coming back for more. There's always a role to play, whether you're slaying enemies, scooping up moats, or invading, there's always a way to contribute to your team's success. Communication isn't required, but strategy and quick thinking are just as important as thumb skill. And lastly, always make it possible for teams that fall behind to come back so they don't become discouraged. So Gambit was, it was really designed for number one, it has a lot of replayability, right? Just because of the variety of stuff you can do. There's going to be a lot of different maps, plus all those maps are going to feature a different enemy like most of the time. So there's going to be a lot of different scenarios that you can put yourself in. Just like with the other Crucible modes, this will have its own ranking system as well. Obviously, we're going to have Guardian, Brave, Heroic, Fable, Mythic. Uh, as the tiers and whatnot in the legend rank and stuff like that but they do look a little different they're blue and green i definitely like the look of them but a part of this major change infamy ranks will function very much like vow rank so each rank will require more infamy points to complete than the last win streaks award bonus points your win streak caps at five and doesn't get reset until you lose a match and then your win streak won't be reset if you join a match in progress in addition to completing matches, you can also earn infamy by completing Gambit bounties. So there's going to be Gambit-specific bounties. It's pretty awesome. So each day, the Drifter will have a selection of daily bounties available for sale that will award infamy points as well as other rewards. He'll also sell a special weekly bounty once you reach level 50 in the game. The weekly bounty will award a large number of infamy points and a piece of powerful gear. This allows you to always be making progress toward the Legend rank no matter what your short-term short short-term goals are right so obviously this little image right here the top you obviously have the bounties the middle are pursuits and it says infamy rank so i'm assuming this since there's five ranks you can earn these things within those five ranks seasonal it looks like there is going to be an emblem what it looks like and then a shader obviously you can pick up i'm assuming you need to hit a certain rank before you can pick these up but still the other rewards that look pretty cool you can also get the uh maleficent or malfeasant or whatever it is basically the new thorn through uh this game mode as well obviously it doesn't show how to get this here but it's kind of like i guess we'll, we'll be able to figure out soon the next section is going to be going over crucible and basically some changes obviously we saw the reveal stream on how uh, i would say like crucible is going to work and all that great stuff there's an image right here of lord shaxon this is kind of how his new looks going to be obviously we have the bounty so this is going to help us progress through the ranks also we have the pursuits here as well get this like maybe this is a god roll butter devils or something i don't know seasonal obviously we just went over that this is going to be an emblem and a shader um but essentially during the combat stream they obviously went over a lot of things and there's a lot of goals and questions that people have i'm going to be going over every single one and what is going to be changing so first goal make earning a high rank and glory not feeling like your second job it is hard dude getting up to fable to get redirects is hard it's crazy i've seen so many tweets about it. especially my name is vive like i it, it's crazy but glory rank points gained and lost have been retuned to reduce the overall climb to higher ranks and the weekly award has been fixed and its gains have been doubled Go Goal number two, recognize the achievements of players who did not receive their weekly rewards in season three. So the changes, players who complete com competed in season three will earn bonus rank points for completing their first match in season four. Does not require completion of any previous weekly milestones. Goal number three, encourage more players to thrive for higher glory ranks. Losses in the competitive playlist no longer reset your Valor win streak. That's kind of cool. Radar has been re-enabled during competitive gameplay. Sick. Control and clash modes have been added to competitive playlist. Lost streaks have been removed. We are currently investigating activity reconnections to competitive crucible for players who encounter an error mid-game. This will not be available at the launch of Forsaken, but we are looking to add this feature post-launch. Goal number four. Remove the time pressures associated with glory rank so changes pinnacle crucible rewards are now rewarded via quests so some of these quests will ask you to engage in valor and glory ranks these quests will not go away at the end of the season reese claymore is being retired in season four so players who already earned the weapon will still be able to equip it and use it players 
will be unable to earn Research Claymore beyond Season 3. Now, I think we all knew that. Shax will offer a new quest that players can com complete to earn Research's Broadsword, a companion weapon to Research Claymore. Research's Broadsword features a similar talent arrangement, but it does not share the lore and triumphs associated with Regis Claymore. Once you've earned the weapon, random roll versions of Regis's Broadsword will start dropping from Crucible Engrams. Each drop will have a... We'll have the fixed outlaw plus desperado combination. Each drop will also have randomized barrels, magazines, and masterwork perks. Players who earn Regis Claymore in Season 3 will receive additional bonuses. Owners of Regis Claymore will be granted an exclusive emblem when redeeming the corresponding triumph. Claymore owners will be eligible for, for drops of Regis's broadsword from Crucible Engrams even without completing the corresponding quest. And a new crystal reward will be added via a quest in Season 4. I'm assuming we're talking about Luna's Howl, which is the 180 round per minute hand cannon. So, last goal, continue to promote Rumble as a third mode. Changes earning a place in the top three in Rumble will now count as a win. Okay. Okay, that's kind of cool. I mean, obviously, uh, there's six people, one out of six chance of you winning, depending on your skill level, which is about to be the same. So, the correct number of Valor rank points will be granted. The next section kind of goes over guided games and like the social experience in Destiny 2. So we're bringing back a feature that many have asked for on many occasions. Fire teams that are formed in some activities will stay together once the activity is complete. This applies to the following. Strikes, Gambit, and Crucible, and activity reconnections. Starting with Forsaken, if you disconnect from a guided game, you'll be offered the opportunity to reconnect to the activity if it is still active. So it's kind of cool. They reserve a spot for three minutes, and that's pretty cool. We're also getting some updates to clan stuff. So since launch, 50% of you have hit max rank in your clans each season going into forsaken there are two major things we wanted to improve with clans so number one give me more reasons to play with your teammates or i should say clan mates and make clan perks more interesting we also have these six little things right here these look like little bounties obviously those first three are bounties those third those third three have uh the bird there so that's pretty cool. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll have to do something for um, Hawthorne's Bird there. But how you earn clan XP is changing as well. When you start your journey in Forsaken, Hawthorne will have three daily bounties. They can be completed alone or with a fire team to grant a small amount of clan XP. Once your character reaches level, the new 50... Oh, the reach is the top level, which is 50. Hawthorne will add three additional weekly bounties to grant larger amounts of clan XP, but will require you to fire up with your clan mates so obviously we're going to get some perks in here as well they don't go over all of them but they do want to give a preview so rank three increase resilience when you're in a fire team with clan mates rank five grants a chance to receive additional etheric and baron resources when collecting them in the reef i'm assuming that's some sort of thing we're going to collect to access um something in the game i'm assuming rank six the weekly clan milestone also grants a masterwork core it looks like we'll also be receiving a new emote. It looks like the swing set emote right there. Low-key depressing. It's raining. That's that's kind of sad. <laughs> Next section, they go over Crucible Labs. Again, if you don't know what that is, there's a little tab in the top right when you enter the Crucible called Crucible Labs. You can use it. Basically, it's just a testing platform for uh, Destiny 2 Crucible, like a PTS essentially, just to try out some new game modes. And the new game mode that we're going to be receiving is pretty interesting. So the next Crucible Labs mode is going to be called Scorch. This mode has a very deep, complex, and serious rule set. All right. They're being, kind of, they're being kind of sarcastic. But number one, you spawn with the Scorch Cannon. Number two, everyone else spawns with the Scorch Cannon. Number three, you suit each other with said Scorch Cannon. It's like, that's it. So uh, the designers were so preoccupied with whether or not they could drop it. And they did they were just like screw it let's just do it so it starts tuesday august 21st and ends friday august 24th so you have three days to play this crazy mode that's gonna be super freaking cool last thing i do want to mention tomorrow we're gonna get three times valor rank starting at 10 a.m pacific time 1 p.m eastern time so 12 days left to complete your moments of triumph and your souls of heroes armor sets once august 28th rolls around we'll be in a new world with sandbox and weapon slot changes seven short days after that forsaken launches time flies when you're having fun and all I have to say, it's flying fast, dude. I'm super hyped for Forsaken, man. Like, it's about to be, it's about to be insane. All right, guys, that seems to be it for the TWAB this week. If you want to help support me, there'll be a link below. Say best way to support me. If you want to go check that out, that'd be awesome. But if you don't want to do that, you can always like this video, subscribe to the channel, share this video, turn on the notification bell next to subscribe if you want to be notified when I drop some new content on the channel. And then comment y'all want to see below. Again, I'm making content for you, so whatever you want to see, try to get out there as quickly as possible also we have the discord link below as well we have some text chats going about destiny 2 forsaken obviously upcoming games like division 2 uh anthem stuff like that we also have some voice chats as well so if you want to talk to me that's gonna be the best way to do that all right guys hope you enjoyed this video we'll catch you next time